and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. So I am slowly trying to convert some of my most popular blog posts into video format for YouTube and this is one of the most popular um, that seems to get the most hits and that is the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Colouring for Adults which I created back in 2016 um, but just a couple of months ago at the beginning of this year I did update it so it's all um, relevant and right as of now and as of my opinion. So um, if you've been watching my channel for ages you're probably quite a seasoned colourist by now and this might not really apply to you but this video is more for those who are just getting into adult colouring and want a little bit of a step in the right direction. So we'll explain all about the different materials used and things like that. So as you can imagine, I'm a member of countless adult colouring groups on Facebook and I regularly stalk the tag on Twitter and Instagram. And the questions that I see asked every single day are, what are the best colouring pens and pencils to use? What are the best materials on a budget? And this almost always comes from beginner colourists and the answers do vary every time because of course, everyone has a different opinion. Now in this post, I hope to answer them from the point of view of someone who's tried and tested pretty much everything the colouring world has to offer. So firstly I'll start with a handy glossary of terms for types of pens and pencils. So first of all we have fine liners. These are very very fine tipped pens usually 0.3 to 0.4 millimetres and they're used for intricate designs and very very small spaces on your colouring pages. Popular brands include this one the Statler Tri Plus fine liner and Stabilo fine liners too. Then we have water-based pens. Now this ink does not bleed through most papers and it's ideal for double-sided books, but always check first because paper quality does vary. The ink doesn't blend and it does look quite streaky, especially if you're going over a large area. But water-based pens are cheaper than other types of ink. Popular brands include the Statler Tri Plus, this one here, the Tombow and also Crayola Super Tips. Now alcohol markers. This ink will bleed heavily through most papers, but they have excellent blending capability and colour range as well. So crafters use these types of pens because they give seamless colour and they don't streak whatsoever. Popular brands include Spectrum Noir, uh, the Pro Marker that I have here, Copic Markers and Chameleon Markers. So wax-based pencils. Now a wax core is very common in coloured pencils. Uh, they're often cheaper and they can develop a wax bloom over time, which is like a milky film that settles on the top. Uh, however, they are mostly soft, very rich in pigment and they blend really, really well. So popular brands include the Prismacolor Premier, the Statler Ergo Soft and where are you? I know I have one here somewhere. Here we go. The Arteza Expert Coloured Pencil. Oil-based pencils are less common. The lead's harder than wax, but it makes them stronger and they blend and layer really, really well. Popular brands include Faber-Castell Polychromos and Marco Ruffin, if you're looking for something a little bit more on the budget side of things. Now we move on to watercolour pencils. So water can be added to these pencils um, to create a watercolour effect, either using a paintbrush, a water-filled aqua brush, or by dipping the pencil directly into water. Popular brands include Derwent Ink Tents, but this is actually an ink pencil, uh, Faber-Castell Albrecht Dura, um, we have Caran d'Ache Supracolor 2, and also the Statler Carrot Aquarelles. Gel pens, obviously they include gel ink, and this lays down very thickly on the paper and has to be left to dry, otherwise you will get smearing. Now there are loads of different types of gel pens and they are widely and cheaply available, but some of the popular brands include the Uniball Sino, the Hybrid Dual Metallic from Pentel and the Sakura Jelly Roll. Now chalk pastels, these are what most people use to create those lovely, soft, subtle backgrounds. Not to be confused with oil pastels, which won't have the same effect. Popular brands include the very cheap Inscribe and these rather more expensive and professional pan pastels. Another term for the glossary is open stock. This means buying single pencils individually rather than in sets. Now I always recommend that you try a few open stock before purchasing a set, especially with the more expensive pencils like the polychromos, just to ensure that you get on well with them before laying a lot of money out. 
Now I'm going to list some products in order of cost and quality. You may be able to find cheaper pens and pencils out there, but I've chosen products that offer quality at low prices rather than, to be frank, cheap tat. Uh, each product I'm showing has an accompanying picture that I've coloured using them so you can see how they perform on paper. Coloured pencils, low budget, Crayola twistables, £3 to £13 approximately. Don't be fooled by the Crayola name into thinking they're just for kids. These pencils are high in pigment, long lasting and come in a maximum of 30 different shades. As you can see by my skull picture, the colour packs a punch. They're vibrant, easy to lay down and silky on the page. These are my go-to product every single time someone asks me for the cheapest, brightest pencils. They don't even need sharpening. Getting them to a sharpish point is a case of colouring using one side of the tip, which wears it down and creates a point on the other side. Now, there aren't massive blending capabilities with these pencils, so if that's what you're after, check out the next low-budget option. And don't get confused with the Crayola Tristable Crayons. They're shorter and fatter, harder to manipulate, and they don't colour all that well. Next up on the low budget is the Marco Ruffin pencils, £5 to £16 approximately. If you're looking for great quality and quantity at a very low price, Marco Ruffin pencils fit the bill. They're fantastic budget pencils, owed in part to their oil-based lead, the same as Polychromos. No, they're not as soft and blendable as the Polys, but they have super translucent cores and they blend really well when layered. They come in sets of 24, 36, 48 and 72, the latter only costing around £16, which is fantastic for that number of colours. Another low budget option for pencils is the Statler Ergosoft, costing between £6 and £14. Now if you want purse friendly pencils that blend well, you will love the Ergosoft. They not only feature casing that's soft to the touch, but the leads lay down super soft on the page. The brake resistant coating around the core helps them keep safe from lead snaps and they sharpen to a strong point. As I say, blending is achievable with these, but they are on the harder side, so using light layers is your best option. In my opinion, these are some of the best pencils you can get for under £15. Another low budget option is the Arteza Expert pencils from 14 to 30 pounds. Now Arteza pencils in their largest set of 72 take us right to the top of a low budget at 30 pounds, but they are so worth it. In my opinion, these pencils are hands down the best you can buy on a budget with smooth wax based cores, tons of vibrant pigment and the strength of an oil pencil. Some colourists prefer these to pencils costing over £100 a set, so if you're new to colouring and you want to dip your toe in the water, our teaser pencils are a fantastic choice. We'll now move on to the mid-budget, which is the Derwent Colorsoft pencils, from £14 to £70 approximately. Colorsoft pencils have very soft lead, high pigment and velvety lay down on the paper. They blend beautifully and come in a maximum of 72 different colours, which will definitely be suitable for most colourist needs. However, the leads are quite dry and crumbly, so you could have problems with breakages if you're not careful, and the wax binder can hinder the layering process. If you're looking for something with maximum layering abilities, you'll need to spend a little more money on the high-end Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils, which are £15 to £130 approximately. These pencils are the creme de la creme of the colouring world, and indeed amongst the most expensive coloured pencils you'll find on the market. The reason they're so sought after is simply because they blend like a dream, they're oil based not wax based and they come in 120 different colours. Now as I mentioned earlier oil pencils are generally seen as being higher quality than wax but you do have to work a bit harder with them as they require lots of light soft layers to build the opacity of colour. Polychromos are incredibly durable with no breakage issues to speak of and to me they feel like the best quality pencils I own even next to higher priced pencils. Another high-end option is the Prismacolor Premier Coloured Pencils from £15 to £116 approximately. Another popular choice and my personal favourite pencil, Prismacolor Premier are the go-to artist quality pencil for those who work better with wax. Now these pencils are the softest around with rich buttery leads that lay down and blend with ease. You don't have to spend an age layering them and it's completely effortless to create seamless blends and gradients. They come in a massive 150 colours and can be bought open stock. 
Even though you can get wax bloom if you burnish using hard pressure, this isn't usually a massive problem in colouring books I've found, and you can always wipe off any bloom with tissue. The colour range is unmatched, featuring many light, delicate mid-tones and pastels that aren't often found in other sets. Moving on to watercolour pencils, and we go straight in at the high end here, Faber-Castell Albrecht Dura, £13 to £130. Now, Albrecht Dura come in several size sets from 12 to 120 and can be bought open stock. They share colours with Polychromos pencils, which is really useful for keeping consistency in colour whilst having the versatility of using different media. These pencils are a dream to use, whether you're a seasoned watercolour pencil artist or fairly inexperienced with the media like me, these pencils feel incredibly easy to use and they are quite forgiving. Simply load the paintbrush with water, wipe it off on a piece of kitchen towel and apply. You need only the smallest amount of water, surprisingly little in fact, to move the pigment around and it's very easily controlled. If you want to rework the colour after it's dried, it instantly dissolves again with a little water. Now Derwent Ink Tense pencils cost around 13 to 102 pounds and these in particular are so highly recommended because the lead is made from ink rather than oil or wax, which means you get a very bright and intense colour from them when mixed with water. They're used by firstly colouring normally, if not a little lighter pressure than you usually would, then taking a water-filled aqua brush or wet paint brush to paint over and trigger the vivid colour. They are very, very intense, but they are permanent when dry, so can't be reworked uh, after they have dried. So, fine liners, looking at low budget Maphead Graph Peps, £9 approximately. Now, I haven't had these pens for very long, but they seem to be a great budget alternative to other fine liners out there. They only come in 20 colours, which is a little restrictive, but if you're just starting out and you need something to get into those small spaces, the tiny 0.4mm tips will certainly do that. I've heard some talk they don't last very long, but I've only owned them a short time, so I can't comment. Now the colours are very bright and the ink flows well without scratching, which is why I've chosen these over Stabilo's, which is a similarly priced product but seems far too scratchy for me anyway. Mid-budget for the fine liners is the Statler Tri Plus. These are £20 approximately, depending on the size of set you buy. Now they're 0.3mm pens and they're my favourite to colour small areas with. The nibs are rounded and smooth, the ink's bright and bold and they come in at least 50 colours and they last ages. I don't really use any other fine liners so I heartily recommend that you purchase these if you can afford it. They come in so many unusual tones like Bordeaux Red, Pastel Lavender, French Green, they're just a joy to use. Statler also make thicker 1mm felt pens in most of these colours which are great for colouring larger areas. And uh, next up for the high end in fine liners are the Magna Tips. These cost £39.99. There are only 20 colours in the set, but the price comes more from their ability to stick to each other. Now, each pen contains magnets for you to build structures with or just keep all the pens in one place. Uh, there are other accessories available for them too, but performance-wise, the 0.4mm tip glides smoothly across the page. They have quality construction and you can buy refills, making them very economic. Before we move on, I've just forgotten to mention in the watercolour pencil category, you can also buy the Arteza Expert pencils in watercolour, water-soluble format. So those are a really good low-budget option for that, for those. Now moving on to uh, brush tip pens, the low budget ones I recommend are the manuscript brush markers that are about £4 approximately, so very, very cheap. These pens still give vibrant colour despite their price. The brush tip is thick and juicy and it covers a wide area very quickly. Next up for mid-budget is the Ducraft Artiste brush pens at £26. These pens have dual tips, so they've got a bullet on one side, a brush on the other, and have a very fine brush that's able to colour small areas as well as large. They come in 36 different colours, which is enough for most colourists, and they're quite diverse, so you can read my full review of any of these products on my blog. I'll be leaving links in the description. Now, the high end for water-based pens are the Tombow Dual Brush Pens, £30 to £200 approximately. Now these pens are so versatile because not only can you colour with them, but you can apply them from a palette like watercolour paints. The brush tip is great quality and they come in a massive 96 colours, but the cost is substantial. 
Now for alcohol markers, they're all pretty expensive due to the quality of ink, the amazing effects you can create with them as well, and the fact that they, most of them are refillable. Therefore, it's not really possible to divide them into budgets, but at the moment, Harmony pens are cheapest at a set of 30 for £30, or even Touch 5. So I've tested numerous types of alcohol markers that you can read about on the links below, including Spectrum Noir, Copic, Harmony, Chameleon and Graphite. Now for gel pens, my favourites are £4 from the works and they perform better than other more expensive brands like Uniball. They're made by Artworks and they include glitter, metallic and fluorescent and they flow really, really well. But I think you'll only be able to find these if you live in the UK. However, if you have a little more money to spend and you're looking for something really special, check out the Sakura Koi Jelly Rolls. They lay down really thick swatches of ink and they do take a little bit of time to dry, but they perform really wonderfully and they glide across the page. Now we move on to chalk pastels and the low budget option I recommend is the Inscribe pastels at £10 a box. Pastel backgrounds can drastically change your colouring pages, giving that extra dimension and making your colours pop. It's difficult to cover large areas with coloured pencil without seeing lots of lines, so that's where chalk pastels come in. Inscribe pastels are very cheap, but they do a great job covering large areas, especially when using cotton buds, which I'll be leaving a video tutorial for in the description. You do need to use a lot to build it up the vibrancy of colour, unless you're going for a very delicate, subtle look, because there's not a great amount of pigment in them, which is what you'll find in higher end pastels, such as pan pastels. Now these are to pastels what polychromos are to pencils, the very best of the best. You only need the smallest amount for strong colour, there's barely any dust, they come in 92 different colours and they're absolutely loaded with pigment. They come in flat pans allowing you to mix and apply directly from the palette. You can read more about them on my blog post in which I review them, which I'll be leaving the link in the description for, and you can check out the pan pastel background video I've also linked below. So I really hope that this post has helped you decide which mediums and brands to use. Obviously there are loads more. You can be looking at very, very high-end coloured pencils like your Caran d'Ache Luminance, the Derwent Lightfast, the Caran d'Ache Museum pencils if you want the absolute creme de la creme of water-soluble pencils. There's the Holbein's, very difficult to get hold of, but really good pencils. There's so many more that I could go through, but if you want to see reviews of pretty much every single pencil or pen I've ever come across, you can go onto my um, reviews playlist on this YouTube channel, scroll through and just watch whichever ones you're interested in. So I really hope, as I say, that this video has helped. Please leave me a comment in the description if there's any other questions you'd like to ask as a beginner or a professional colourist, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.